Good evening, folks. What's going on? Earthmaster here, jumping in on the live stream here. February 18th, 2021 is a date, 10.04 p.m. Well, 10.05 p.m. West Coast time here in California. And I'm uh, going to do a quick update video here. Latest quake on the globe is a 4.6 out here in this region where we've seen quite a bit of earthquake activity, including that 6.1 uh, yesterday, or close to yesterday now. Uh, in an area where, like I said, quite a bit of earthquake activity. Looking at the magnitudes there, we'll bring this up a little bit so we can uh, further see where all this movement's at here. going to bring all oh, the past. Oh, man, that's only going to let me bring in a few uh, days of earthquake activity, but definitely uh, quite a bit of movement. Quite a few sixes and fives out there in this region of the Port Villa area. Take a look at the uh, other map here. <coughs> Get a little bit better detail. I almost lost my voice there for a second. Um, yeah, so zooming in over here towards the Vanuatu area. Vanuatu, however you want to pronounce that. I keep, you know, I keep trying to correct myself. It just doesn't work. Uh, Fiji Island's getting in on some of the action as well. Or at least to the northeast in the Samoa area. Uh, there did have that uh, 6.1 out there. And also that 6-pointer there uh yesterday other than that not a whole lot of movement um to report as far as major earthquake activity goes there is some in the west coast region we'll get to that here in just a second tokyo and uh north of uh, japan area or at least north of the tokyo area seeing a couple four pointers out there in the region uh alaska just getting in on their typical Earthquake activity up there in the Gulf. Uh, West Coast region here. Some movement down there around the Southern California area. No major swarms to report, folks, uh, which is good news. A little, little bit of movement on the uh, plate boundary of the uh, North American and Pacific plate. You can see these red circles here indicating some recent earthquake activity, but microquakes at that nothing major to report uh, for the most part there is some sporadic activity on the increase throughout nevada and the mammoth lakes area north of mount whitney um, and then again no major quakes just some sporadic uh, microquakes pretty broad broadly uh, uh, scattered out here i should say in the uh, part of nevada stretching into the southern part of the sierra nevada mountains and uh yeah not a whole lot there in california just kind of kind of your typical day in california no rain and uh yeah not good moving into oregon area a couple explosions reported um those uh diamond shaped areas indicating an explosion non-earthquake related 2.3 was about the only earthquake well where'd that 2.3 go Oh, okay. That explosion was actually a 2.3. That's a pretty good size explosion there. The only uh, notable earthquake there, 1.1. I wouldn't even say that's notable, but that's about the only earthquake, act or 1.0, I should say, around the Sisters area. Beautiful region up there. A lot of snow up in Oregon. They got all, our, all of our winter this year. Uh, Mount Rainier, there is a little earthquake there, 1.5. Let's uh, go ahead and check out the latest trimmer map here real quick so we can get to the volcanic activity. Not a whole lot of movement. Some trimmer in the uh, northern California and southern Oregon region. Volcanic seismic, seismic. I was just reading a text message. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, I am not on it tonight, folks. I am just uh, kind of tired here. Uh, volcanic activity here. The USGS did put out a little report on this somewhat of a swarm there occurring around the uh, Mount Rainier area. Of course, swarms are common and uh, they do happen quite often in this region. No uh, elevation, no elevated alert level for the volcano there. It's still pretty much background levels. Uh, and they don't believe this is associated with any type of volcanic seismic activity, you know, as far as uh, 
like magma and whatnot moving up to the surface, uh, which is good. But still, kind of odd. I can't really access the uh, the triangles, you know, the uh, seismograph stations there. Just kind of seems like they're missing compared to times in the past. And, of course, data is pretty squashed there. You can't, I mean, if she was blowing, you wouldn't be able to tell. Let's uh, check here, this other page. Oh, no, I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back here real quick. Oh, it's just been a fun day, let me tell you. It's been a fun-filled day. Looks like some sporadic uh, microquakes there, or at least m hard to tell exactly. But uh, these little drawn-out lines indicating the uh, earthquake activity in question this here not for sure what that is maybe some type of uh instrument adjustment or somebody bumping into i don't know exactly uh let's check out the previous day here and you can see uh these are definitely earthquakes and those are part of the swarm that took place there um over the last 24 48 hours the larger ones there are the uh well let's let's show you guys here real quick Let's go back seven days, all magnitudes within this region, and we'll zoom in to that. Oh, we could have done it the other way, but we'll go ahead and put it here on this map. You can see the uh, volcano dome up here. This is the earthquake activity showing up on the map. Most of these are microquakes. It looks like there was a couple two-pointers in there in that cluster of quakes. Those are going to be the more defined spikes here on the light on the uh, seismograph stations up there as well that one's pretty well defined but also looking at some of these other little microquakes there um, that looks like seismic activity as well just not uh, doesn't look like it's being reported by the U USGS uh, and even going back uh, further looks like it continued a little bit uh, past that date as well see those little spikes and whatnot so anyway um it looks as though activity may be calming down no earthquakes there within the last uh, hour for sure and uh, within the last day only a 1.5 taking place in that um, region of washington it's a movement up there in montana area through the uh region up here around helena I was trying to think of this lake that's in this region here. Canyon Ferry Lake. Okay. I was thinking something different. A couple small microquakes around the area as well. Yellowstone National Park not showing a whole lot of movement on the seismograph overview, which is now accessible. Pretty quiet. Been a while since we've seen some intense swarming. I'm hoping this picks up sometime soon. It's kind of cool to watch. Neat to watch um, when this thing starts really uh, making some noise up there. Or some movement. Noise. Don't want to have noise up there yet. Uh, what else we got, folks? Hawaii. We'll cover that real quick. We'll zoom in out there in the Pacific. And there's not a whole lot going on there. The USGS also uh, put out some uh, recent statement on the continuing volcano eruption there in the Kilauea area. Uh, nothing major. Just uh, an ongoing uh, filling of the, the, the crater with lava. We are getting a little bit further movement off towards the shore area down in the southeast part of the Big Island, kind of around the Lohi Seamount, the underwater volcano out there in the Pacific. Nothing specifically in that area, but within about 10 miles or so, kind of stretching down there. A little bit of migration off the coast of, uh, of the Big Island. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Solar weather coming up, a potential solar storm hitting the area maybe not here in california but potentially down at uh, mid latitudes definitely at high latitudes there around the 21st as we see a uh, solar wind from a coronal we see cr solar wind from the coronal hole uh, that's kind of earth facing there on the 21st uh, looks like 50 percent chance of a geomagnetic storm there uh, at the high latitudes with mid latitudes at about 15 percent 50 percent 15%. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that and see 
if they increase or decrease the potential on the uh, on that solar storm coming up. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see here. Mostly quiet conditions are expected through the 20th of February under a nominal solar wind environment, a G1, which is a minor solar storm. Uh, conditions are likely on the 21st of February as a recurrent CHHSS negativ negativity. Polarity is expected to become geo-effective. While these coronal holes, most of them, I would say, are facing southward, or at least in the southern hemisphere of the sun. You can go back in many days, and for the most part, they tend to uh, stick to the southern part of the sun's surface, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, there's that uh, coronal hole region that will be uh, directed, directing uh, some energy uh, towards us around the 20th, it looks like, extending into the uh, 21st. Uh, I'm not for sure what space weather has on this site or on this uh, information here. We can check them out as well. I like to use a mixture of them. These guys are issuing a, a geomagnetic storm warning, um, but it's still a pretty minor G1 class geomagnetic storm. Uh, gases materials flowing faster than 500 kms uh, from an equatorial hole in the sun's atmosphere. So yeah, not a whole lot going on. Did you guys see that uh, that spacecraft there that landed on Mars? That was pretty awesome. I can't remember the name of it right now, but uh, another rover there on the Mars surface. Pretty cool to see some images being sent back of the uh, red planet. Pretty awesome. I've always been fascinated with uh, the planet Mars and the planet Venus, but uh, Mars more so because of the uh, past um, conditions that were on the planet there a long time ago. <laughs> uh, with flowing water and who knows what else. You know, maybe life was just wonderful on Mars, but now not so much. All right, guys. Um, yeah. Not a whole lot going on, folks. I got to get back into the swing of things here. Um, as far as the channel goes, kind of been lacking a little bit. But, uh, you know, earthquake activity comes and it goes. And uh, sometimes there's uh, some dull moments. But... Uh, for the most part, we'll keep the ball rolling and uh, continue to put out videos here on this channel as always. And of course, live stream is up and running 24-7. That will never go away. That's, uh, that's a given. Sometimes it gets taken down. I don't know why. You know, not for sure what's going on in that uh, aspect of things. But uh, yeah, we try to keep that stream up and running. Alrighty, guys. Um, whoo. What else we got here? It's about all I can think of right now. It's kind of late, so I'm gonna hit the sack and uh, go to bed, get some sleep, enjoy the nice, quiet evening, and um, we'll chat at you guys another time. Stay safe out there. <laughs>